Oh no. Alright, hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. We're playing as the Handmaiden. And we're here in Atrus's Jedi Academy on Telos. And we have to fight five of our Handmaiden sisters without killing them. I know. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First things first. We're gonna equip the lightsaber, because I have a feeling if we use the lightsaber, we're, we're just gonna murk them, right? Oh, this is so tough. All right. Let's, let's not unequip, let's just switch weapons so it's still equipped. Uh, we should probably put on some sort of shield. Let's put on a Mandalorian melee shield and then Open up with a force wave and see if that stuns any of them. Okay, I guess I'll just open up with the force wave. Shield, please. Oh, look, we did stun one. Can we just... Oh, she's out of force now. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Plus, now we need to heal. Whoops. All right, well, they seem to have a lot of health, actually, so let's switch weapons back. And then let's just do regular attacks and see what that does. Okay, okay, that does a little bit more than I was hoping, but not too much. Let's switch off the lightsaber. There we go, there we go, okay. This is gonna be a lot of micromanaging, but I think we can do it. Uh, see, I don't wanna... I'm afraid if I score a crit with the lightsaber, we're gonna have a bad time. Let me kite a little bit. Uh, come on. Okay, okay. Lightsaber, heal. I don't know if I can risk another hit on that one. Let's unequip. We're just gonna do this one at a time. Is she stunned now? No. Okay. This is, this is working out. Okay. Nice. That's it. We did it. Ooh, that was that was interesting. Where have you been? You have been absent so long. I feared for your safety. Were you with the exile all this time? Mistress, as you commanded, I commanded. Did I command you to consort with him? To follow his teachings, to betray your oath? Mistress, the exile taught me many things. I am certain he did. And now perhaps it is time to show me what you have learned. Mistress, I do not understand. I- Of course you do not. But you will learn. But you have had a long journey. And I am anxious to see what you have learned of war and battle. Okay. Well. At least they gave us full health. Let us this will teach you. I think, are we gonna maybe, oh, okay, let's try doing the same thing. Let's switch this off the saber. And see, can we stun her? Oh, we might die. She's healing, she's draining us. I don't know if we accidentally killed her or not. Enough. Oh, no, I guess not. Did you have feelings for him? Did you touch him? Did you look upon him with love? There is no love in that one. He is a shell, devoid of emotion. All that he was died at Malachor, and he dies there still, as he should. Uh, no, I'm standing right here. One exile has arrived to save another. 
Do not harm her. If you wish to punish anyone, then punish me. You have truly fallen far to kill a helpless opponent. Drop the weapon or else. I'm here for my lightsaber, Atris. Her life is mine to end, not yours. Or kill her, see if I care. Uh, let's do the top one. Do you care so much for her that you have come all this way? Perhaps you have feelings after all. Surrender, Atreus. I don't want to fight you. Where's Kreia? Let's do, uh, let's do surrender. Such a noble offer. Your execution has been too long delayed, exile. Whoa, who just died? Did Handmaiden just die? Oh my god, we just destroyed her. Run! Run, you're weak. Oh wait, uh, mm. let's save. Instead of going to Atris, let's go back to Handmaiden. Oh, I can't. What about any of you guys? No? It's our map. Well, the whole area is still here. Can we, like, leave? Nope. Doesn't appear to be anything in here. Can't interact with any of these. Can't interact with her. Alright. There's only one way to go. I have a feeling this is a trap. We're walking into a room with a bunch of Sith holocrons. There's no way this is going to go well. She said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they're mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atris, you must be stopped. Atris, you have fallen to the dark side. Surely you see that. I will not fight you. Surrender and I will spare you. You must fear death to beg for your life so. Words of a coward and a Jedi prepare to die. I will not fight you. Surrender I will sp and I will spare you. Surrender to you. Never. Let us end this. Alright. Just remember, you're the one that asked for this. Okay. Can we just appreciate the fact that I just took her down to a third health in one attack? And we're going to use that same attack again. Good night. And also... Look at look at my health. Barely any damage taken. I just hit her for 110 plus 54 in another attack. That's insane. Kill me. End this. I will not kill a helpless opponent, Atreus. After everything you've done, I'm not letting you off that easy. Very well prepared to die. No, we're not going to kill her. I did not expect mercy from you. Here, at the end. After all that has happened between us. We have greater problems, Atreus, and there has been enough killing. That is where we are different. I need answers and I need them now. Actually, I was lying prepared to die. No, we have greater problems. There's a there's a bad dude who's coming to like eat the force. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? Uh, what happened to you? Can you tell me where the Sith is striking from? Tell me where Kreia is. Actually, I was lying prepared to die. What happened to you? This knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. I think perhaps we both have been guilty of such things. It is not your responsibility. Sith knowledge is forbidden. There is a reason it's kept safe. Uh, was that why you gathered these Sith relics? I sought to preserve the knowledge of the Jedi, and to do that I needed to know the Sith in order to stop them. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi. And when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. It never does until you realize you've lost your connection with everything else. Everything that occurred at Malachor, everything that occurred in the war was because there was no other choice. Can you tell me where the Sith are striking from? Tell me where Kreia is. Uh, everything that, uh, 
it was because there was no other choice. Now, let's just do the first one. It sounds a little too, you know, goody, goody, light side, but I don't really like any of the other ones. Uh, it never does until you realize you have lost your connection with everything else. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me. And yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. Can you tell me where the Sith is striking from? All right, relax. Relax. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. But these Sith are spawned of you, spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths, all those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost it us. it has to be then the bad the, that big bad Sith dude with the white mask has to be like my shadow or something like that's my prediction I, I could be totally wrong but I think that's where this is going that like because I exist it exists and therefore like we both have to die or something it's gonna be like a it's like a Harry Potter thing the boy who lived come to die He's back. Uh, is that where Kray has gone? Yes. I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Manacore 5 to finish what you started. Ah, uh, so this is where it's going to end. Okay. What I started? Yes. You are an echo what I started. in the force. See? A hollow space where it has been wounded. See? It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. But it can be done. It creates places where the force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way. And you carry it with you. Always. It's like it's like a Harry Potter slash Kingdom Hearts thing. It's like that bad guy is my my what is it, a heartless? Or something like that? Uh, it's been forever since I played Kingdom Hearts. What does that have to do with Kreia? Oh, wait, what does that have to do with Kreia? Is Kreia somehow tied to me? No. No, because she was on the council, right? Oh, what does that have to do with Kreia? Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force. Greater than the one before. Greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. Why would Kreia do that? I do not know. But she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor, and you will die along with her. Why? You are important to her somehow. But I... But I do not know for certain. Persuade, if you know, tell me. My charisma is high enough that this should succeed. She is willing to yes. sacrifice herself at the heart of that graveyard world for you. A choice others have made in the past. A choice I wish to make. It is because I care for you. And I suspect that you alone hold that place in her heart where nothing else lives. And that is why you are the only one who can stop the destruction to come. Why does she... Why am I so important to her, though? If Kray is Sith, why would she do such a thing? She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death of the Force. It is madness. It is impossible. But she believes you are the key. Death of the Force? There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the Echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created, even from the simplest of events, the slightest of emotions. One person, at the right place, at the right time, can change the face of the galaxy or end it but why would i matter that's impossible how could, why would i matter you're important to her somehow but i yeah no okay we already did that all right i've heard enough this matter is finished and what will you do with me now abandon me here on this dead world or end my life as i wish to end yours I will do nothing except tell you that I am sorry. I did not realize that the Mandalorian Wars would hurt others that had known me and cared for me. I need you to see what I've become and turn or what you have become and turn away from it. 
They will answer for your crimes before the council, and then you shall return to your prison, <laughs> except the, the council is dead. <laughs> Uh, you must return to your prison, Atreus, and leave the battles to those who have the strength to fight them. I shall leave you here to these holocrons, they are Sith, and they do not abide failure. Nothing except end your life. Uh. I need you to see what you have become and turn away from it. I tied my life, my decisions, to the Jedi. Perhaps only in separating myself from the Jedi can I become myself again. Learn who I am. Perhaps exile is what I deserve. Even though it is many years too late, and you have already returned. Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. Oh, she dead. She dead. Myself to tell him. It what? Change nothing. What language is this? And because I was afraid. You know what lies at the heart of Malachor Five. I had thought it was in the past, yet it has become the future. And all that has happened there will happen again. And that is why I cannot bear it. Because it is Malachor V. And because I love him. I do not understand why the Sith permit such teachings to exist. They cause only echoes, wounds in the Force. I really wish I knew what the hell they were saying. A beacon? For who? came for me. I thought I had lost you. Well, I was a little late, but better late than never. I decided to play it a little close. For a minute there, I thought I had lost you. I'm sorry I came as quickly as I could. Tell me what happened to Kraya now. Uh, yeah, let's do for a minute there. I thought I had lost you. Kraya. She said the council had ended you. And all along, she was one of those who had sought to kill us. Both carry their truth in a way. Kray has told many lies, and the architecture is difficult to see. Yes, but we need to deal with one crisis at a time. Are you all right? Before I punish you, tell me why you disobeyed me. Uh, we have to deal with one crisis at a time. Are you all right? When I heard her say that you were dead, I, I failed you. I let my emotion run through me, and I acted without thinking. I wanted to punish her, hurt her, see her answer for what she had done to the Jedi for leading you to the Council. Yo, actually, right there, her voice actress sounded a little bit like the one that did um, Azula in Avatar The Last Airbender. I gotta look that up later and see if that's the same voice actress. That sounded very similar. Uh, calm yourself. I am right here. It is all right. It's all right. Don't dwell on it. We'll take action. You know, all in its proper time. Uh, well, it's lucky for her I don't die so easily or you'd be you'd wreck half the galaxy in revenge. This part is over. We must focus on the next battle. Be silent. I have no time for your emotional displays of weakness. Your anchor is strength and is a weapon, as you now know. Um, calm yourself. I'm here. It's all right. Of course. Uh, forgive my display. I. I am the last of the handmaidens no longer. I am Brianna, disciple of the last of the Jedi, and the one who will stand with you against all enemies who face us. Brianna. It's good to hear your name. It is good to hear it. After so long. Who's this? a very dramatic shuttle. Oh, wait a minute. This is... Um... Um, what? Is this the droid factory? Hold on here. We gotta... Let's save our game. What, what is going on here? 
Military base sublevel. Uh, this is... We've been here. Yeah. This is on Telos. This is where we got the shuttle. I'm just curious if we can leave this place. Um, so I'm actually gonna be going the wrong way here for a minute, sorry. I'm curious to see <clears throat> if we're allowed to go back to the Ebon Hawk. Cause it looks like we're by ourselves. We can't pick up party members, can we? Unable to change your party at this time. I don't see a shuttle in the hangar. Yeah. I don't think we can leave. I'm not gonna run all the way back to the entrance. Cause even if I could get outside, I don't know how I get off the planet. I think we have to go through this as HK. Okay. We can do that. HK is pretty badass. He's got a lot of stats. We've been we've been playing with him a little bit, gearing him up. I did just go through and, and upgrade people, so you know his gear is pretty up there. His weapons modified to hell. Let's look at it, actually. So, Mandalorian Assault Rifle, damage, energy, 8 to 51, critical threat 19 to 20, on hit, stun, 25% chance for 6 seconds with a DC of 14, attack modifier, plus 6, defense bonus, minus 1. So, it's an, we did get a little bit of a penalty to defense, but his defense is 43. If anything hits him, I will be damn impressed. And even if they do, he's got 410 vitality. So, plus 8 dex with the plus six attack modifier means he's not going to be missing either. And the blaster rifle hits pretty hard. I think it was eight to 51 it was. Yeah, like that's, that's not bad. All right. If this is the droid factory, military base sub-level, let's see, what are we in for? Uh-oh, yep, there's HK droids. I see a turret. Statement. The turbo lift has been accessed, but no organics or hostiles have been detected entering the complex. Query. Is there a sensor malfunction? Irritated statement. The probability of such a malfunction is extremely low. Order. Run a scan of all units within the complex. Processing. Scan commencing. Result. Only HK units detected. Premonition. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Alright. Items received lightsaber? Oh, that's probably from... Uh... That's probably my lightsaber from... Atris. Yeah, it's one of these two. I think. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, let's see. Okay, that was pretty good. The store is magnetically sealed and can cannot be opened unless there is a loss of power. Alright, by the way, I also have uh, in his off or uh, other weapon slot, we have a Verpine Droid Disintegrator, which is 5 to 23 ion damage, plus 3 to 30 versus droid, so that is 8 to 53 damage, ion damage, plus 2 to 16 energy. The crit is only tw is a natural 20 instead of the 19 and 20, but it also is the attack modifier plus 6, defense minus 1. So... I wonder which... Let's try that one. Let's see if that does more damage to, uh, to droids. I think it will. Okay, that's also locked. 
unnecessary statement. That is Unit HK-47, unnecessary addendum. He has entered our base. Dismissive statement. It does not matter. He is obsolete. He can no more harm us than he could harm himself. The military droids will be more than sufficient to intercept the obsolete unit and reduce him to component parts. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, I could just disable force fields, huh? Okay. That's good to know. Who are you? I want to do a little bit of experimenting, actually. I want to use a power shot on a droid instead of rapid shot. Or power blast. Oh, see, I just have regular power blast, don't I? I don't have... Yeah, never mind. That's okay, though. I mean, rapid shot is still so good. No penalty. An extra attack with no penalty. I mean, there's no reason not to use this. Oh, we actually lost some health. Do we have a regeneration? No, I don't think we do. No. Let me test this security security measures. Bypassed. That's a big missing texture right there. Actually, it looks like a lighting issue. Droid CEPB? Oh, that'll give me Master Power Blast right there. The Droid Combat Enhancement Power Blast adds all the information necessary to your droid's databanks for it to store up energy and release a single powerful shot. But what do we have to lose in order to get that? The Droid Battle Upgrade gives a plus three attack modifier, two defense bows, two dexterity, two constitution. Uh, no, we're just gonna keep that. <laughs> as much as I was just talking about using Power Blast, that's too much to lose for something that we don't really need. Yeah, there's another one. Krellian Power Suit, Life Support Pack, Droid Multispectral Emitter. Chemicals. Security spike tunnel life support pack chemicals. Right. I don't know really what we're trying to do here yet, but here's a security terminal. System loading complete, enter command, log out. So yeah, we don't have anything, any options here yet. Alright. There's nothing else to interact with over here, right? No. I guess we have to go... Oh wait, here's a security terminal we didn't use. Slice the computer for free. I like it. Access security cameras. Okay. Control center. So that's the room we were just in. Switch the camera. Overload the power conduit. No, I don't want to do that. System commands. There's no... I don't have any options. What's his computer use? Uh, 26, so it's not like I'm being limited on options because of low skill level. Security terminal here that I didn't use. Security cameras are right, here. We got more options. Munitions center. Okay. 
control center, reactor core, system commands, open all security doors, upload area schematics. We'll upload the area schematics for one spike, it's fine. This level looks to be a sub-level to the military base. There's an extensive droid manufacturing facility located on the level below. The manufacturing facility, however, is sealed off with security doors. These doors can only be opened if there is an emergency drop in power or if the manufacturing facility is threatened. This level is broken down into three separate centers, munition center, control center, and the reactor core. Uh, access munition center. Weapons testing, droid operations, construction, and maintenance. Access control center. Military tracking of Telo surface and atmosphere communications center. The reactor core. This is a backup reactor core to the level above. And it also regulates power to the manufacturing plant below. Okay. Let's open all security doors. Might as well. Failure. Access denied. Override activated. Doors sealed. Bleh. The security doors that lead to the lower levels of the manufacturing plant have been sealed off. It looks as only the base itself is threatened, or if there's an emergency loss of power, can the security locks be opened? Okay. Alright. Well. Actually, I think, um, even though this episode is about ten minutes shorter, I think, than most episodes that I usually do, I think this is a really good place to end this. That way we can make the entire next episode will just be the droid factory. So we got a little taste of it. We dealt with Atris, and uh, we're on our way to Malachor 5, apparently. But uh, HK decided to take a little quick, you know, mini vacation before the finale of the game. So we're going to wrap this episode up here. Sorry for it being a little shorter, but, you know, 40 minutes for an episode's probably too long anyway. Uh, but yeah, next week, look forward to the entire, hopefully, droid factory. We found it! Hooray! Thank you guys for watching. Mobius1 here. And I'll see you in the next one.